What is up, Coratics? So in this video, we're going to be discussing the new drag races that were added on January 25th, 2024 for all platforms. So these are available under the normal races category under the drag race section. There are currently seven of these drag races in game, and they are limited to only four players. So race type is default to non-contact, but can also be changed to standard point to point. Now, oddly, there are only three vehicle classes to choose from, which are sports, tuner, and muscle. And of course, the other typical race settings like time of day, weather, etc. And by the way, for traffic, especially variable, it makes the race extremely chaotic with buses, fire trucks, and random cars crossing the intersections at the same time that you're going by. So I would highly recommend setting traffic to either off or low if you're the host of one of these races, because trust me when I tell you, traffic will mess you up in these drag races. It's literally programmed that way. But anyways, the weird thing about these races is that there are vehicle restrictions on the cars in each class. So for sports, you can only use the 10F, Coquette D10, Euros, Growler, Hot Ring Everon, Jester Race Car, Jester RR, Masakura Race Car, Spectre Custom, or Visagoy. For Tuner, we have all the typical Tuner cars, which is to be expected. However, for Muscle, we only have the Beater Dukes, Burger Shot Stallion, Dominator ASP, Hellfire, Phoenix, Pizwazer Dominator, Redwood Gauntlet, Ruiner, and the Ruiner ZZ8. So very specific cars that Rockstar chose for these classes, but overall, from my experience and many others in the community, generally for sports, the best one is gonna be the Coquette D10. For Tuner, it's gonna be the Calico GTF. And for Muscle, it's gonna be the Pizwazer Dominator. Now there are some other cars that are still close and competitive, but from what I've seen, most of the community does agree that these are the best overall picks. And of course, make sure that you have these cars fully customized. Now for the races themselves, you wanna perform a burnout in the beginning and keep it towards the end of the blue rev range. And this will result in a perfect burnout, which is going to dramatically help with your launch. So make sure you get that right. Now in these races, there is manual shifting. So to upshift, this will be a circle on PlayStation or B on Xbox. Now getting the perfect upshifts is not super important. It does help obviously, but the main thing you wanna focus on is of course that burnout to get that good launch. And of course upshifting pretty quickly in the beginning through the first couple gears as they're typically pretty short and go through the rev range very quickly. Now about halfway through the race, nitrous is actually available to use but this is something that you definitely don't want to use until you have a nice straightaway or if you're pretty much close to the end of the race because when you use this nitrous, your car, if it's fully maxed out, will reach about 200 miles per hour, which is just crazy. So you definitely want to make sure that you're not doing it in an area where you're turning too much or where there's traffic because obviously that will slow you down or you're going to crash. So think of it as the Too Soon Junior meme from Fast and Furious. That's pretty much the similar concept that you want to use in these races. Try to use a nitrous when you're going in a straight line and more towards the end of the race. Now, obviously the payouts are absolute trash in these races because of how short they are, which sort of makes sense. And this is on double money, so yikes. The payout is only gonna be about $1,000 on these normally without double money. Very terrible, but what do you expect from Rockstar? These races are probably only gonna be used this week, and I'm pretty sure most of the community is gonna forget about them afterwards. But uh, yeah, I guess it's sort of one of those events you do for fun, experience it, and then never really do it again. But uh, anyways, guys, that's how the new drag races work as part of the Chop Shop DLC update drip feed. I really hope they allow us to sort of incorporate this manual shifting and sort of gauge set up into other parts of the game. I think that'd be really cool, even though we're pretty much at the end of the life cycle at GTA 5 Online at this point. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.